Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Dr. Sano. So thank you for giving uh, this opportunity. So I am now a chairman of the Asian Nobel Bioimaging and Intervention Group, ANBIC. And uh, in this lecture, I would like to give a talk on the endoscopic training I have been doing for the past 10 years, entitled the uh, a New Endoscopy Training System Pyramid for the Assessment of Clinical Skills. So as you know, the mortality rate of the digestive cancer, so the uh, colon, the stomach, and the esophagus, is high in the social problem, uh, not only in uh, Asian countries, but also the South American countries. So to pre prevent these cancers, endoscopic early detection in early stage is very important. So this is uh, advanced esophageal cancer, but any cancer, if detected the early stage, is uh, initially small and uh, endoscopically uh, treatable. So therefore, it is very important for endoscopist to acquire the ability to detect the cancer in this early stages and the scale to treat uh, this cancer. So this is a background. Uh, the development of the imaging has endoscopy allows the endoscopist to improve the recognition and the characterization of GI cancers. And an AMBIC was uh, founded with the objective to conduct a training in endoscopic diagnosis and treatment for uh, GI cancers in the Asian Pacific region using a standardized training module in 2014. And the, uh, this is our first meeting. Uh, one of the initial chairman was a Professor Xu from Hong Kong. After the uh, Professor Inoue and the Professor Yao and the Professor Tajiri, uh, he's a past president of Japanese Society, Endoscopy Society, joined to our group. And the, uh, five years later, uh, we published a uh, textbook on diagnosis and treatment. And after that, uh, pathologists, uh, they are very important for endoscopic diagnosis and treatment, were also uh, invited to our organization. And uh, last year, we had uh, 67 members. So our objective of AMBIC is to provide education and training actively and continuously in the Asian Pacific region, disseminating imaging has endoscopy to drive the early diagnosis and the therapeutic endoscopy. The second is to be a trainers group to provide a clinical chain to benefit the patient with better quality of life and functional outcomes. And the third, the uh, so ultimate goal is to provide a comprehensive education in the knowledge of the scale of endoscopic diagnosis and the therapeutic endoscopy and the pathological diagnosis. So this is uh, our 67 uh, trainers members, uh, Hong Kong, Japan, India, and Thailand. Uh, of course, uh, many uh, so the famous endoscopists uh, joined our group, uh, Professor Xu, Professor James Lau, and uh, to Sir Andrews and uh, Professor Xu and Jefferson. And Japan is uh, so Professor so Abe, Fujishiro, uh, Gotoda and uh, Inoue Sensei and uh, uh, Kawachi Sensei Yuteka Saito, uh, Professor Tajiri and Professor Inoue, Professor Uedo, uh, so many. Uh, in India, so the Looper, Amol, so Mohan, and uh, Thailand as well, so many uh, so famous uh, so endoscopy join our uh, members. 
So now AMBIC member so spreading to uh, so Asian Pacific countries, including uh, so Australia, uh, Bangladesh, uh, China, and Mongolia, to Myanmar, the Philippines, uh, Malaysia, the Singapore, uh, South Korea, and Taiwan, and USA, Vietnam, uh, Sri Lanka, and Nepal. So thank you very much for all the doctors to participate our members. So uh, our strategy to provide the training of the uh, so diagnostic endoscopy and the therapeutic endoscopy, including uh, ESD, EMR, so code pulpectomy on a poem, et cetera, in Asian Pacific regions. So there is a two uh, so strategy. The one side is a basic workshop for the novice doctors. Uh, mainly uh, the, the local workshop by the AMBIC uh, so trainers. Uh, but sometimes uh, the workshop collaborated with uh, so uh, some local hospitals and uh, some endoscopic society. And these are regularly held in various parts of the Asia uh, Pacific region with a regular web conferencing approval process. And the other is the trained trainers. And we believe that the trained trainer is more important than educating so novice doctors. So let me introduce about uh, educational uploads. So this is the uh, so known as a learning pyramid. The most student uh, will only retain about 10% of the uh, knowledge uh, by possibly uh, listening to uh, lectures or reading a textbook. Uh, in order to uh, knowledge to be uh, retained, uh, it is believed that the process of actively uh, participating, so the uh, live demonstration or discussion and the teaching uh, someone else is uh, so necessary. Okay, in the business environment, uh, legislated apprenticeship uh, program uh, is uh, established as a common educational uh, method. And these uh, apprenticeship uh, programs help uh, employers to uh, recruit and develop a high-skilled workforce and the, uh, to improve the productivity and to create a flexible training option. So uh, apprentice-based training method in medicine there is. So original education and surgical training started in the early 20th century. However, uh, the least uh, so that uh, so large variety and know-how are deeply dependent on the expertise of the supervising physician and the skill of the supervisor trainee. And the second, the inefficiency a uh, long process of time with a small number of the trainees, long learning curve, and third, so difficulty and the funding uh, opportunity to train and retain the skills. And there is uh, areas with uh, so limited number of the trainers. And the finally, uh, so patient safety is not guaranteed. So as I mentioned, the, uh, so there is uh, so many issues uh, for the implementation of the uh, apprentice-based learning and the daily practice. So uh, the our AMBIC member uh, trained the trainee uh, using a simulator-based master learning method. So all the trainee uh, received a, a pre-test and then so simulator uh, based uh, deliberate practice they receive. And then uh, so they receive the post test. If the test met the minimum uh, passing standard, so they uh, so move on the uh, supervised clinical practice. But 
the uh, unfortunately uh, the tests not met the minimum passing standard so they back to the uh, so simulator based uh, deliberate practice again and uh, again and again and this cycling is really uh, so quickly improved uh, so uh, their scale okay and uh, this slide showing our standard training program so we hold uh, so usually one day or one day half program including uh, so pure uh, post workshop test and lecture presentation including uh, ie diagnosis and the therapeutic endoscopy as well and uh, sfx or stomach and the colon and uh, so hands-on workshop and uh, if possible we have a case discussion and uh, usually we show the second day uh, show the uh, live demonstration and then uh, so finally uh, all the trainee pass the test so that uh, they receive the certification and our training uh, coverage uh, in the Asian Pacific from the uh, November 2013 to June 2023. So 153 AMBIC workshops were conducted in the Asian Pacific regions and uh, more than uh, 15,000 trainees uh, completed the training. And uh, it's uh, including uh, so Australia, Brazil, China, Hong Kong, India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Mongolia, Myanmar, Nepal, Philippines, last year, uh, Saudi Arabia, Singapore, South Korea, uh, Sri Lanka, Switzerland, Taiwan, uh, Thailand, uh, Ukraine, uh, Vietnam. So uh, answers to the post test are displayed on the slide in real time via wireless voting system. Uh, all the trainer uh, can see how much the trainee has understood in real time. Uh, this enables uh, us to provide uh, appropriate uh, guidance. So we published uh, this data uh, on EIO journal uh, 2019. So comparing the so pre-training and uh, post-training test results, there was a significant overall improvement after the workshop training in the uh, post-test results uh, in the basics and SFAX knowledge, stomach knowledge, and the current knowledge as well. So interestingly, uh, so when the workshops were divided into the uh, conducted in the developed country against uh, so those developing countries using a GDP, so there was uh, generally a uh, lower accuracy and uh, pre test knowledge for participating from the developing country than those in the developed countries as you see. So therefore, two type of educational method may be necessary, advanced method or a simple method. So next, I wanna show the train the trainer program in AMBIC. So this regional train the trainer course is held in Osaka, Japan every year. And the selected participant doctor uh, as a trainee, uh, different countries uh, in the Asian Pacific uh, complete the uh, so one week course uh, in Japan. So usually, so uh, this uh, program including a lecture, case uh, demonstration, and case discussion, uh, model hands-on, and sharing a local endoscopy training and uh, being a trainer to give the presentation and the teach hands-on uh, session. And then the so trainer and trainee's uh, assignment is uh, to publish one paper in the medical journal, and the other is uh, to publish a clinical case report for the advanced therapeutic procedures, if possible. 
COVID-19 was a real disappointment for the endoscopic education in the world because of the travel ban real workshop were no longer possible. So we developed a new education approach uh, like a webinar, a blended learning, so e-learning as well. I want to show you. This is an Ambic webinar series. So we decided to use uh, YouTube to hold uh, so regular webinars uh, on the diagnostic endoscopy and the therapeutic endoscopy with uh, 39 sessions and uh, 25 speakers. Uh, we continuously educated over uh, 2,400 uh, viewers from June to December 2020. So similarly, we decided to use uh, YouTube to hold a regular case discussion webinars uh, with uh, 14 sessions and uh, 53 speakers, including uh, pathologists. Uh, we educated over uh, 2,100 uh, viewers from uh, March to August 2021. So one more advance. Uh, so so, you know, pathological diagnosis is very important for endoscopic diagnosis and uh, treatment. So, therefore, we have also started to uh, educational program for the pathologist in Japan and the Asian Pacific through the uh, webinar and on-site training. So this is a uh, uh, distribution of the audience uh, so attended our webinar. So as you see, so beyond the Asia, uh, all the doctors from all over the world watched well <coughs> our webinar, including uh, so UAE, UK, uh, USA, so Russia, uh, Egypt, Canada, Colombia, Brazil, wonderful. I think. So in addition, uh, we have created multi-centered branded learning and uh, self-e-learning module as our activities for the period of the 2021 to 2022. So I would like to introduce this next. So the first I introduce, uh, so tele-mentoring method. So this is uh, published on the digestive endoscopy this year. And uh, the tele-mentoring, so um, this is uh, so the function on-site hands-on using a power sim model. And uh, so this, uh, so the trainee connected uh, through the website uh, between the uh, so Hong Kong and the Japan, Kobe and Osaka. And uh, so we can so teach uh, them uh, through the website and uh, simultaneously uh, while watching uh, so this uh, view, endoscopic view. And the, I think uh, this establishment of tele-mentoring has enabled knowledge and the skill transfer of complex endoscopic uh, procedure of ESD. Uh, with the limitation of the uh, so international travel, so I think uh, this could be an alternative model allowing uh, so remote training, uh, particularly uh, so when the local experts are not uh, readily available. So uh, this is the other uh, so training system. So a novel endoscopy training system by video-based uh, synchronous communication. Uh, this is system allow the trainers to comment on the ESD video uh, recorded by the beginners or doctors. Uh, I show you video. This there is, is a no video from the beginner the endoscopist. Inside because of inappropriate wrist twisting.
So we comment on the uh, so this video uh, simultaneously so that uh, so uh, the beginner and Ascapist can receive this uh, video and then uh, so they learn by the self learning. So this is uh, our the other product. So so we also developed uh, so diagnostic endoscopy guideline in Asia uh, for the upper GI endoscopy and lower GI endoscopy. So uh, this published in the GAT 2019 and digestive endoscopy uh, 2019. So. The other is uh, we published uh, two books uh, in collaboration with a Springer company on early GI cancer diagnosis and treatment. So you can buy the uh, so uh, Amazon online. So please search it. So uh, also we uh, so developed a quick reference guide for the NBI classification. Uh, as you see there, yeah, so uh, VS classification and Janet classification. So uh, we create a reference material. And the uh, so you can download uh, if you enter our uh, so Ambic site, uh, so you can download freely. Please uh, so print out it and put it on the wall in your endoscopy unit and please practice using it during a clinical case. Okay, finally, uh, I introduce the uh, AMBIC website. Uh, so www.ambic.organization uh, launched in 2020. Uh, as I mentioned today, so all the video lectures and all the anywhere quiz and e-learning module and the self-study materials and the case discussion video, uh, you can uh, watch uh, so uh, if you visit this uh, so uh, website, please search Ambic. So uh, everyone, so in my conclusion, um, this lecture presented the current status of the endoscopic education in the Asian Pacific region. So good endoscopic education is not only about lecturing, but also about the teaching in a systematic way using uh, so simulators and videos and textbook and the discussion as well, etc. I think uh, so practice make a permanent uh, practice with a feedback, how to do it, what is the problem, so how to improve it, so makes perfect. Uh, so uh, I hope to uh, see you soon. Uh, Goodbye, sayonara.